My name is <clears throat> Balraj Singh. Uh, I am at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. Uh, I'm going to talk about our paper in, published in OncoTarget entitled Inhibition of Resistant Triple Negative Breast Cancer Cells with Low Dose 6 Mercaptopurine and 5 HSITD. As a background, uh, our major goal is to improve therapy options in resistant cancer, such as TNBC and inflammatory breast cancer. It will involve overcoming deep intrinsic resistance, which is caused by rare but adaptable cancer cells that can survive sele all the selection pressures in the body, often in quiescence. Uh, our specific objective is to develop a more predictive cell culture model of resistance for evaluating therapy. A big limitation of cancer cell lines in cell culture is that artificially rich culture medium promotes proliferation of most cells that are not fit to survive in the body. To address this limitation, we subject the aggressive TNIBC cell lines to severe metabolic challenge by switching them to a glutamine-free medium for several weeks. This selection works well, eradicating more than 99.9% .9 cells within few days. Rare cells survive in quiescence for several weeks, and then at three to five weeks, they begin to proliferate, yielding colonies, and such cells can then grow indefinitely. Interestingly, cell lines developed from more aggressive disease, such as TNIBC, uh, fare much better under this challenge than other TNBC cell lines, such as MDA231. Surprisingly, the cells selected in this manner are not only metabolically adaptable, but they have a variety of adaptability traits. Briefly, they are resistant to chemotherapy drugs, highly tumorigenic in nude mice, and importantly, they metastasize to multiple organs in nude mice, such as lungs, skin, brain, uh, and, and at the molecular level, they are more stem-like uh, based on the gene expression, which indicates a high uh, epithelial to mesenchymal transition. Uh, they carry a variety of genomic and transcriptomic alterations and post-transcriptional RNA modifications. Our priority is to investigate non-cytotoxic drugs that would overcome therapy resistance. For realistic air evaluation, we test low doses of drugs for long periods to determine whether the resistant cells are being inhibited or modified from resistant to sensitive. Uh, how did we choose the drugs that we evaluated in this study? Uh, we have found that RNA modifications uh, such as alternate RNA splicing and, and a variety of base modifications affecting messenger RNA, ribosomal RNA and tRNA, uh, many of them uh, are, uh, we are seeing many of these modifications in these resistant cells. And so uh, we think that they may be playing important role in the resistance phenotype, particularly the, their persistence in quiescence. So since there are many RNA-based modifications, instead of targeting individual modifications, we chose broadly active ribonucleoside analogs that may counter the effects of many of these modifications simultaneously. Uh, really, looking for relatively safe drugs at low dose, we chose 6-MP and 5 azacitidine which are purine and pyrimidine analogs, respectively. 6-MP is a, is a common drug used in many autoimmune diseases, such as ulcerative colitis. Uh, and uh, it has excellent safety profile it, and also it can keep the, the disease in remission for long times. Uh, five is a cytidine is used as a maintenance drug in leukemia, again indicating that a low dose may be safe. 
besides safety, these clinical studies indicate that these drugs may affect stem-like cells since they cause remission. And in, in all these diseases as well, the, the stem-like cells are the root cause of the disease and they need to be controlled for getting the remission. We found that a long treatment with low-dose 6-MP inhibits resistant breast cancer cells in our model. It's uh, analogous to the situation in ulcerative colitis where 6-MP takes several weeks for, for it to cause remission. Further, a prior treatment with 5-HSITDine sensitizes cells to inhibit with 6-MP. So uh, these results indicate that if one drug doesn't, uh, is not enough, both drugs could be combined. Uh, finally, if, when the cells are, that are surviving after treatment with one drug or both drugs, we, we, we wanted to know whether they are sensitive to the chemotherapy drugs uh, or not. And what we found is that as compared to the untreated cells, they are more sensitive. Uh, so overall, our results indicate that low-dose 6-MP may be a good candidate for clinical evaluation to halt relapse in high-risk TNBC and IBC. It may also be an attractive drug for combining with immune checkpoint blockade. Uh, immune checkpoint blockade, block which is increasingly being used in TNBC, uh, the, the problem is it causes a lot of autoimmunity type of reactions. Uh, so its uh, results are not obtained. The, the benefit that the drugs could, the, the immune checkpoint blockade could be could be achieved is, is hindered by the autoimmunity. So 6MP may proactively inhibit the development of autoimmunity besides uh, inhibiting stem-like cancer cells, thus improving the outcomes from immune checkpoint blocking. Uh, finally, besides the specific evaluation, uh, our this paper provides proof of concept that this is a good approach for investigating deep intrinsic resistance and ways to overcome it. Next, we will tax the concept in other cancers besides breast cancer. We will evaluate compounds like 6-MP in combination with immune checkpoint blockade. Uh, as I said, since the immune checkpoint blockade is being very widely used in many different cancers, and we are hoping that these studies will lead to clinical trials. Finally, uh, a word about OncoTarget. We have published three papers in OncoTarget. We have had very positive ex experience. The journal provided fair, good quality, uh, fast review for the papers. And importantly, it allows us to present the work the way we see it. Thank you.